Giselle, I'm not even gonna touch on Giselle because I ain't really never liked Giselle. You can't really trust a pretty girl that can't dress. And her wigs are bad. You can't trust that. The rockin' ho. Hey. <laughs> oh Bitch, uh-uh. Let's tell the truth though. I'm not on the team of, oh my God, I just, I was so innocent. She brutally mauled me and attacked me and da 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 I like what's Hollywood because I like that you get the best bounce around. I'm lit. I'm in rare form. Ciao. Um, update. This was The Rock. Terra I don't know how you say it. Terra Mana. 10 out of 10 would recommend. These hoes is for everybody. I am so stiff because I don't be stretching. And I don't know if it's the cold weather or if it's the age. Okay, these late 20s, it feel like my joints locking up, bitch. I got, what's it called? I ain't gonna say it, never mind. I was gonna say osteoporosis, but I don't even think that's the right thing, so I'm gonna just shut up while I'm ahead. Look now, I am addicted. I have been watching season five of The Real Housewives of Potomac. I know I'm late. I know I'm late. And it's been such a challenge because thankfully one of my friends is a diehard fan, so I get to call him whenever I have like an important update about an episode that I'm watching. So I'm at the point where, let's, <laughs> let's go back. Cause I feel like y'all watch Housewives. So Housewives of Potomac when, hold on. Cause I've been getting so good at names. Candace and Monique got into the fight. So I'm at the episode where the Grand Dame, I love her, I ain't gonna lie to you. The Grand Dame hosted um, Monique so she could just, you know, talk to the girls. That whole self-righteousness shit that Giselle, Robin, and Wendy got going on really, really was pissing me off because at the end of the day, we just met Wendy, or I just met Wendy, right? at uh, Monique's cabin at the lake house thing. And the way she went off on Ashley, like that was warranted. And now she trying to sit over here talking about angry black woman trope, like bitches fight. Fighting is, I'm not gonna say it's justifiable. I'm not gonna say it's normal. No, especially not at they big grown age and my big grown age. I'm not out here trying to fight, but that's not deplorable. That's not the worst thing that you could do to somebody in essence, right? We are animals at the end of the day. Right? Fighting happens. Babies fight. Innocently. Babies fight. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? So I hate that they were really trying to paint it in the narrative that she is unredeemable because what are you talking about? Which, yes, she acknowledged it was her fuck up. She said she don't feel sorry for it happening because I don't, we don't know really what was going on behind the scenes. So if she don't feel sorry for it happening, that is what it is. That's how she chose to express herself in a minute. She can understand that it was wrong and unjustifiable, like she should not have done it, but I don't think she needs to feel remorseful for it because that was Wendy, old big egghead ass, talking about, oh, well, she doesn't even feel remorseful for it, so it doesn't even mean anything. She thinks that's okay. Like she ain't never been, like, I... Giselle, I'm not even gonna touch on Giselle because I ain't really never liked Giselle. You can't really trust a pretty girl that can't dress. And her wigs are bad. You can't trust that. Her point, because at first I was laughing at the security, right? But then it really, once I saw how she was acting, the shit was pissing me completely off. And Robin, girl, she just a non-motherfucking factor, girl. She was just stupid. Because my whole thing is, what was Monique supposed to be proving? I'm late and I got, I'm, I'm mad that I'm this late to the bandwagon because I have so much to say about it. I'm gonna keep watching. Now I'm on the episode where um, the Grand Dame invited everybody over to their house. Um, so yeah, last night was fun though. It was completely unexpected. Me and my friend Jesse, we were supposed to be going to an art exhibit in Santa Monica. Pull up to the art exhibit, completely packed, and it was a completely different vibe. I didn't, I don't hang out in Santa Monica a lot, so I didn't know what to expect, but I wasn't expecting that. It was given very like Caucasian, but not like community. You know what I'm saying? It was given like Trump type of Caucasian. That's what it felt. That's who was pulling up to the exhibit. Everybody was doing stupid stuff. We parked to go to the gas station because I want to get a little bottle of water. Tell me why it's a parking lot. Y'all know how gas station set up. Why this old man park directly behind us? We come out and we looking at this man like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, what sense does it make for you to park directly behind us? This is our car, this is his car. 
He could have parked next to us. He could have parked on this side of us. But he parked like this. What? And then, long story short, we couldn't find parking, so we ended up going to the pier. Wheel. Rocking the boat. Imagine, what would you do with a sport big picture here? It would be equally this way. Yeah. Off to their screen. It'll still be equally this way. I mean, this is like heavy duty. Yeah. yeah. Had a good time. It was cute. It was so much fun. Um, Today, I'm supposed to be going to like another party. And I'm a little bit nervous because I've been inviting and I just feel like I'm going to be popcorn and trying to bounce around, which I'm cool with, but I just feel like I might get a little overstimulated and overwhelmed. Um, I'm going to check back in with y'all with how that goes today, for sure. I'm about to keep watching this though, because uh, years later, I am obsessed. <sighs> I'm back real quick because I'm still watching, right? I'm finna meet me some guests in the comment section below. Wings, y'all know I'm a wingaholic. Um, actually talking about how she's finna press charges because she felt like she didn't see it coming. How you didn't see it coming, Ashley, when you was in her face talking about what you gonna do, drag me? You gonna drag me, Monique? Do it. She was literally antagonizing the girl. And now the thing is with Ashley, I was on her side, right? Because I understand that as a friend, she probably did completely feel blindsided because I'm not going to lie. In all of the episodes, Monique has been the aggressor. Monique has been the aggressor. Ashley has been very like, look, I apologize. I give Ashley that 100% tenfold. Monique completely wrong. I'm not on her side. I'm not on Monique necessarily side because from what we saw, Ashley was always apologizing to her. Anytime Monique was mad, it just seemed like they just, it, what it felt like is Monique was holding a grudge that she couldn't let go and she was trying to let it go, but she couldn't do it. So she is completely wrong in the essence of she should have just stopped being the girlfriend completely. You know what I'm saying? She should have been did that. But she was still trying. But then she was looking like so angry, mad all the time. Man, Ashley, right? But now I'm not on this. I'm okay. Let's tell the truth, though. I'm not on the team of, oh my God, I just, I was so innocent. She brutally mauled me and attacked me and da 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 da. Girl, Ashley, you was walking up in that girl face. You was walking up in that girl face and you talking about what you gonna do, drag me, Monique. Drag me, Monique. Once she felt. That girl touching her hair. If she wasn't about it, she should have backed off then. She should have been left. But she didn't. She stayed in it. So I'm not here for the tears, Ashley, even though this is three, four years ago. Nah. Child. Y'all on the microwave. I hope y'all stay. I ain't got time for no broke camera, but I'm lit. <sighs> Had a good time. I'm not gonna lie to you. I am completely grateful. And I have to express that so loudly because I have been wanting to be able to get a new set of like male queer friends so that we can like go out. And I did that. And I just want to express gratitude. I had a fucking ball tonight. The thing is about some of these parties, though, it's just like everybody know everybody. And that's when I told you how L.A. everybody poly and all that shit. Everybody be fucking on everybody. So that's the tea with the parties. They get a little messy in that regard. But I do feel like the bitches ain't as fake as... I maybe felt once like because it was people who I was flirting with or was flirting with me let's keep it clear <laughs> that was flirting with me at the last party so I was like okay yeah fuck it they was cute I was feeling let me pull up on you and it was cool energy the whole fucking night I didn't have not one bad vibe inconvenience and I'm actually about to go to West Hollywood now girl I'm just going because my other friend who I mainly be going out with 
they just don't that's not their type of aesthetic right they're more of like a west hollywood person i like west hollywood because i like that you get the best bounce around i'm lit i'm in real form child i done drunk a celsius i'm like okay i'm gonna try to stay up it's only 10 48 so it's still kind of early sunday night um update this was the rock Terra Manana I don't know how you say it. Terra Mana. 10 out of 10 would recommend. I might get it again. It was $30. I got it from Ralph's. But I don't know. Like, do y'all think that if you drink non-alcoholic, um, I mean, what the fuck? Not non-alcoholic. Hold on. Do you feel like, I usually get Jose Cuevo, right? And that's like bottom tier cheap. Do you feel like there's a difference when you start splurging a little bit more? I don't quite know yet. I did finish this bottle this weekend. I only had maybe this much help. Maybe this much help. I haven't been hungover. I haven't had a headache. But I feel like with the Jose Cuevo, it's like the same. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But that was 30. The Jose Cuevo will be $12.99 from Ralph's. I kind of want to keep testing the water to see because I do feel like I would rather have good quality liquor, but ain't it all poison at, this, at the end of the day? Let me know in the comment section below. I'll talk to y'all later. I'm rambling. Okay. <laughs> morning. It is the next day. It's not even morning. It's my lunch time. So I've just been working, but bitch, I've been working from the bed. So that's why I can never complain. <laughs> I done got all of my morning stuff done. I just have a meeting a little bit later. Um, I'm trying to spread out the pepperonis on this pizza. Um, Cause what? But yeah, child, I'm party that. Last night, I think I talked to y'all a couple times in West Hollywood and if not, please hold. Okay, so bitch. First club was a success. I think I told y'all that. Now I'm in West Hollywood. It's really bitch. I'm using the bathroom right now. But look at the bathroom song. It's Britney, bitch. I was intoxicated. Um, <laughs> yeah, I had a good time. I wasn't as outwardly social when it came to meeting new, new people. I met I maybe like three. Ooh, it's Zwak. Look at me. I met maybe like, I met maybe like three people, but I had talked to them on social media. And so that was cool, but uh uh, I was just with the vibes last night. I wasn't really even too much of a hot boy because I just realized I'm. I, Though I want to be a hot boy all the time, I think my hot boy is like once a weekend. That Friday night, I was on my complete hot boy shit. So Sunday at the day party, I wasn't at, I wasn't. Thankfully, my little, my little boo thing was there. So we got to hang out and stuff together. Um, so that was fun. Um, but as far as like new people, no, nah. mm -mm. I was good on that. And I also, I don't know if it's the age or not. And I feel like, can y'all see me? Come here. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's the age and I'm pretty sure I showed y'all the bottle, but I finished the terminal I'm on a mini. <laughs> me and my friend finished it. I, one, one of my friends did come over and we pregame for the rest of the bottle. Um, and I still don't know if I can solidify, like, I don't know if I can still say that buying more expensive liquor is better than the cheap liquor. I don't know yet. I don't feel hungover. I'm just tired because I was partying all day. And then as soon as I got home, I made a quick meal. And then my friend Jesse came and picked us up, picked me up and we went straight to WeHo after that so i'm just that type of tired i'm not necessarily like hung over per se i do feel a little like mm, drainish i should have got some um what's that pedialyte or something like that but i'm just gonna chug some water 
While I'm sitting here thinking about it, let me show this water. Because I think more than anything, I feel like probably more than anything, I'm just a little bit dehydrated. So, yeah. But that's it. Update, I don't know. I can't justify it yet. I'm going to get another bottle like this, though, just because I did like it. Um, and these holes is for everybody. And I'm almost back into my... Because y'all can't see me. I'm almost back into my ready-to-meet-people era. Um, I'm, I, I'm feeling more socialized i think i talked to y'all about this briefly the other day but i really think that moment of time when i isolated myself helped me so much because i just feel less bothered by people's opinions of me i think like that because i fuck up like <laughs> saturday night no 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 sunday sunday i kept I don't know, but yeah, bye. So yeah, y'all know this that healthy pizza. I do recommend for this healthy John. Go ahead and add some extra cheese to it. I got this Parmesan from my salad mix. <laughs> so I'm gonna add this on there. And I'm gonna add some garlic. garlic can hurt it, it it tastes like pizza but it don't taste like pizza for real because the crust is like a psyllium um husk or a protein and it's like a psyllium husk and protein blend so it doesn't taste like bread but it's the best healthy quote unquote quote unquote healthy pizza